Good morning. So we are right now currently parked at the sensorium and uh, that's a museum of sorts. I was actually very surprised when we arrived here because there's like it's on a hill and there's like a hotel, a restaurant, a retirement home um, slash museum and all belonging to the same organization. Beautiful view, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm currently here. The beautiful playground. Um, it's really a great place to be, I suppose, for the kids and also for the adults. Um, First up, before I get to the sensorium, I just want to talk about sustainable or eco-friendly, eco-conscious traveling and uh, vacation. Uh, what does that mean? Um, first, we started out this year as plant-based, but the more I studied what it meant to be plant-based, and if you're doing it like us on a faith-based and um, ethical, for ethical reasons, then you really have to change your whole lifestyle. You really have to like go the whole nine yards um, you really have to change a lot in your life and actually eating plant-based or vegan uh, was the easy part um, but I realize now that living sustainable li living with a uh, protecting the earth in your mind that's that's a whole different league I mean it goes all the way to being self-sustainable but that's another video but so what does it mean to travel eco-friendly? First of all, not that. We shouldn't be traveling actually, of course, with a van. Um, we did travel with a train the other day. I hope I can finish that video. Uh, so as much as possible, travel with pu public transportation within your own country or by land. Now there, what it means is don't travel by plane unless really necessary. I'm sure you heard the term carbon footprint. If you fly by plane, it's like one of the worst ways to travel, really. So even worse than, yeah, you know, traveling by car, using your car to travel. And uh, it, it also confirmed what I was thinking. And I'm happy that this country where I live in Switzerland uh, is starting to do that and starting to recommend that. They have on their site, uh, put a link below about traveling eco-conscious, eco-friendly and sustainable and having the nature in your mind especially for such a beautiful country like this but actually the whole world is beautiful every country has its beauties and we we need to do all we can to preserve it the more i, I dig deep into it I'm, I'm really sad how careless the whole world is with this planet as if there were multiple planets to escape to so now um about the sensorium a little bit uh, we stumbled upon it because we are customers or members of the Rife Eisen Bank. it's a bank a, a regional bank and um, they have this uh, special membership thing that if you're a part of their bank and you're a member member meaning we paid initially 200 francs and that's like one time big time payment uh, and if you do that, you'll have a lot of perks and benefits, and one of that is uh, free entry to most of the museums, if not all, and some ev and, and really big discounts on events and so on and so forth. So one of that would be this place. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we can save like up to 50 francs in total with a family of four. And so this is a museum, quote unquote museum, about the the senses, the five senses, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll link more of it down below and um, yeah, I'm curious also how it will turn out.
Hi there, that was a day. Well, right now you can see we are completely somewhere different. We are now uh, in Lausanne at our next stop. And so the day was uh, quite interesting. The museum was very special. It's like a hands-on museum, not the, the usual museum that you know where you just look at stuff and just try to figure out or, or read what, what it's about or figure out what it's about. But here it's really that museum sensorium that's really hands-on. Uh, you can do a lot of things. Um, the kids were very interested. They, at that age, they would like to play around. But of course, they not only should they have a certain age, but they should also be interested in stuff like that. And what I also realized is um, it would be beneficial if either someone came along and would explain the stuff, which there were some staff uh, that would explain us things. Wow! And then there's a pattern also, you Yes. See? You don't have with a finger, but you have to put with your tool. And what you could do, of course, if the, your children couldn't read yet, like in our case, then you read it. Unfortunately, it's only in German and French, but I'm sure with Google Translate, you could figure it out. But it's explained what um, what it's about, what you need to do, uh, what's the purpose, uh, what's the goal of, of that very uh, thing that you're looking at. And so it's really about the five senses again, hearing, We didn't really do tasting, but looking and feeling was all there. Your finger becomes so small. Yeah. <laughs> 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 not quite sure I mean if if we didn't have that promo I don't think I would have paid that much until my kids were old enough and would be interested in these things um, and maybe we would have spent more time at each station um, but since we were in a tight schedule anyways we had to move on and uh, I think the best part for the kids were uh, the play area outside uh, which is fortunately free so you can even go there uh, without paying anything not even for parking the parking is free you my tour guide
and also the the stations outside they are free actually if I'm not mistaken Whoa, look at that. You see that? Oh, careful. And again, great restaurant. The juices, of course, and tinapa, yung mas maite, mas safe, so for sure. And then, siyempre, yung mga confiture, and it's always from the region, tapos yung mga muesli. Mm -hmm. Diba? So we have the milk medina. Uh -huh. And then here, yung fruit. Mm -hmm. And then yung butter dough is big. Ayun, nakasulat mo yun. Mm -hmm. And we had breakfast there. Uh, they had some vegan options, plant-based options. Uh, I, I saw the menu, they had a vegan burger, so that's great. Um, really great stuff. Uh, I like it when, when the restaurants and hotels are making an effort. I mean, the, the head waitress uh, even made an effort and went downstairs to get us a yogurt, like plant-based yogurt, four plant-based yogurts. It was really wonderful, amazing. Really thinking of going back there. I, I believe if, if there's a warmth and a welcoming uh, atmosphere, it's always a, a great place to go back, even though it's not as spectacular for me. Uh, that's always a plus. And of course, if they're welcoming, even though you're plant based, I know how difficult it can be to accommodate people uh, that have a lifestyle like us. So I'm always thankful for people who, who help us out. And that was really a great experience.